Okay, we're live. So uh, we're going to get into custom toolbars today. So what that means is we're going to strip them down and we can also make them more complicated. We can minimize it, but um, let's just get into it. Now let's just go over customizing the toolbar. Let's scroll over here to the side and We've discussed this in a module before, previously, but let's go ahead and actually do this now. So if we click on this, you can see we have an edit toolbar. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this open. Now, how this works is two things. This first box here is your toolbar. This is essentially the toolbar that's on your left side. So let me pull this over here a little closer so you can see them side by side. So what you see here is what you're gonna see over here, okay? When you see them grouped in sections like this, this is telling you what is going to be inside of that initial tool, the tools that are gonna sit up underneath. Extra tools. This is where we we're just clicking on the three dots. So when you click on that, if there's a tool that I wanted to sit inside of here, let's just say for example, I wanted a magic eraser in there. Let's just say I wanted, um, let's just say history brush. Anything that I want to sit within that small section and I don't want them to sit inside of this large section, you drag and drop right here, okay? You can also, once you have all of this set up, you can go ahead and hit save presets. You can hit restore defaults if you want to go backwards. You can also hit clear tools. What this will do is if you look to the top left, all we have right now is this little pop-up menu, which is your uh, extra tools. There's nothing really in the toolbar yet. So what you would have to do is come over here and manually drag the tools that you would want to sit inside your toolbar, okay? This is the main idea, okay? You're gonna drag over. If you drag on top, it drags so that it will sit underneath. So you can see, and let me just show you again, you put it right on top, see that little blue line? And that allows you to drop underneath, okay? So, if you continue to go through this whole process, let me just show you, you can hit a save preset. Uh, you can save this to your desktop. Just gonna call this, and again, I typically will do something like Rebels uh, test. And actually I'm gonna do underscore trash because I'm not gonna use this. I just will remind myself later on to get rid of it. Hit save. And now I'll have that on the desktop if I needed it. Okay, but if I hit done, now you'll see I have the tools here. If I click on this right here, this will show me full access of all the other tools. Now, right now I made something that's really not user friendly, but it was just to demonstrate the point of how to uh, manually set this up. If you go back in here, edit toolbar, restore defaults, and it sets everything right back to the basic default. Okay, hit done and you're good as new. Okay, so that's the toolbar and let's go ahead and move on to the next module. Okay, so if you're new to digital painting tips, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell button. Also go ahead and, and visit my website and see what stuff I have over there as well. In the meantime, I'll see you next time and keep painting.